All right, folks, what's up, what's up? Long awaited, Catalonia, Yucatan Beach versus Catalonia, Riviera Maya. Okay, I'm doing a full explanation, walkthrough, going through this place, tearing it up, having margaritas, having some grub outside, doing whatever, flying the drone, showing you all kinds of cool stuff. So stay tuned and welcome to my channel. And thanks for joining and checking it out. It's gonna be awesome, you're gonna love it. Um, especially if you're going to be going down here to one of these Catalonias or just checking out some resorts and hotels in the in the um, Yucatan uh, Riviera Maya area. Um, so check this one out as well. I mean, just fantastic. I love it. We loved it. Was here um, in five days. Did second Catalonia we've done. We do it last year also. So stay tuned. Awesome place. Alrighty, alrighty, what's up? This. Come on, man. I'm making this video to help you guys out, and I'm like, which resort is this? This is. I know, I know. Be patient. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Catalonia Yucatan Resort. This is a beautiful area. Super sick. Kids pool. Preps, the ham and uh, the ham cheese preps, really awesome. Uh, uh, yep, very good. And then let me take you over to the uh, hot dog man who is right over here. You know, just had a real tasty dog. Some grilled onions, some hots, whatever you want to put on it. As for the Mexican dog, they just make it their way, man. Got to go with the local, local uh, flavor here. So, yo, know, I'm talking awesome cool bar, the tequila bar, these guys here, the dog man, this guy burns up some good dogs. This is the hey, chef, Hola. chef de dog. Hola. Amigo. Como estas, amigo? Bien. Saludos, saludos. Te saludos quiero mucho. Al mundo. Te quiero mucho. Sí. Vale. José, el, el cocinero de los dogs, riquísimo. De Catalonia. De Catalonia. Amigo mío. Sí, Catalonia es lo mejor. Es, okay. es buena gente. Okay, gracias. Gracias a ti. Gracias, José, man. Serving up the dogs. These guys at the bar. Serving up the drink. Good stuff. Welcome to the bar. These are the guys. And let me grab a. Uh, I got my backpack because I got my drone in there so I can do some aerial photos for you guys. Oh man, look at the colors here. Yo, I'm back. That didn't take long. Woo, woo, woo. The colors here are just, I mean, today is overcast and cloudy, but it's warm and I'm gorgeous. And that's it. Beach volleyball. Another bar straight ahead where the camera's looking. 12 o'clock. Beach volley. See, the deal is okay, like this is, here's the deal. This is the Yucatan uh, sister of the Catalonia. So basically, you know, you're at the pool and you come out of the Yucatan area and then this is the Yucatan beach. But for some reason, maybe my left foot is shorter than my right, or my left leg, because I, I keep stumbling over to the left. Kind of, you, you go over here, and I just happen to, and most people do, you kind of flow over to the left, down this little trail, path, sendero, walkway. And so, you kind of end up congregating over at the Catalonia Riviera Maya part because that's where I'm going now. You know, if you just happen to take the sandy sandy road this way, you end up here. So you could see some of that sargasm seaweed or whatever it is, seaweed stuff. Uh, there was tons yesterday, but they, they clean it up. Like they're always constantly picking it um, picking it out of the ocean and yo people that's nature 
you know? What do you expect, that your beautiful, crystal clear, chlorinated bathtub? No, this is nature. And, uh, and it's gorgeous. Okay, so now this is the, uh, the walkway over the ocean. Ocean boardwalk, gotta love it. And so, uh, some friends I met over here, chilling out, don't wanna bother them. And, oh, okay, come with me this way, and uh, they're doing some activities in the pool. What are they doing today every day? They have different activities. Yo, do I have mustard on my lips? I ate that dog and I didn't check the mirror. Well, whatever. Okay. Oh, another birthday. Yeah, well, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. All right, somebody else's birthday, including our friend we're here with who today is at the uh, Explorer Park with my wife Rosie and her friend's kid. Continuing, we have, okay, well, the, the snorkel area. We went snorkeling yesterday, tons of fish. It was awesome. And it's right here. Bring your snorkel and fins or not. And see the woman straight ahead to the left of that white little fence. All right, I'll take you over there. Wait, no, let me show you the other beach bar. So this is, again, Catalonia Riviera Maya side. And this is the beach bar by the lagoon side. I just call it the Laguna Bar. And, uh, Senor, come with us. And, oh, here's the other pool area. Que tal tu día, bien? Excelente. Quieres estar en mi film? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Él sabe hacer preparar todos los cocktails riquísimos. Yes. Y tiene una vista increíble. So, good place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Muy bom, muy excelente, muy buena gente. Gracias. Thank you. Okay, nos vemos pronto. So, then we, we uh, have this little Laguna Beach. And they do have the uh, kayaks and paddle boards here to use also. So we've got yaks. If it's too windy, they don't let you paddle out. And I'm talking about like if it's over 15 mile an hour winds, they don't let you take it due to safety regulations. So whatever, you know. Um, I mean, come on, people. Come on. And for the price of this, these Catalonias, I mean, you can't freaking complain, right? You could, but just don't do it. Just don't, okay? Just don't. Things are gonna go wrong. There are, there are things, little problems you will have. That is a guarantee. But let the green and blue turquoise waters take you away take you away because I'm talking you know you know you know you know you gotta just say shizzle this is the shit basically um, so okay you want to go snorkeling here's what you do get a banana from the uh, the natural juice bar dude learned this the other day grab a banana and these fish here if you got friends or kids anybody going snorkeling come right here you can see fishies right here and 
I have some vid of that. I'll, I'll add to this uh, little little clip I'm doing, but your friends could snorkel here, throw in some bananas, not the peel, just the bananas, and the, these fish are living in these tubes. And they will come out of these tubes down there and get all over you. So, you know, I'm gonna take off this backpack. Let's just like dunk this camera down and see if I'm lying to you or not. Are there fish here? Are there really fish here? Let's check it out. Here we go. camera hello bon bonjour bonjour it's extent of my french how are you guys doing um uh, pe pesci what's your pesci aqui what's your pesci yeah my uh i speak spanish and english and a few other words in different languages but that's the extent so, yep. Oh, poisson. Yeah, poisson. Poisson, planto poisson. Si, planto poisson. Oui, oui, oui. Yep, there are a lot of fish. Planto poisson, aquí. Planto poisson. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's fun for kids and stuff, you know, and it's like you could stand up if you're not a great. And this is what I'm talking about. Throw some bananas on top of your people and let the fish jump all over them. Pretty nice though, because it's like so close by, very convenient, really cool. So these, this is where most of the restaurants are. Beloved Terrace Tapas Lounge, Toscana Alabrijes, that is what we have tonight. Exclusive whatever and a tea bar. And so that's all up there. All right, and this is the front of the Catalonia Yucatan Beach Resort. Very nice, very nice. Now just have to uh, talk to concierge about some reservation changes and stuff. So catch you on the flip side in a second here. But there is the gift shop. Reception and the concierge. Oh, and there's a sports bar which has um, pool tables, air hockey, ping pong, um, great bar, jamming like rock music, pinata. Don't even know what that is. Haven't been there yet, but one step at a time here. Concierge time. Okay, so, um, well, yeah, so I did arrive at the right. Uh, reception Yucatan Beach but now I'm walking back to the Catalonia Riviera Maya and basically go out the main area take a right and it's right next door so I mean back to what is the difference between these two hotels so what's the difference between these two places um, nothing because we like eat at the same restaurants or like any restaurant you want in either place you jump in any pool the uh you know besides the privilege side uh, there's what's the difference i don't know um the difference is this one is here that one is over there but you're going to be using like everything the same and sharing i mean you, you just you're back and forth. I, I think we spent like the first two days in the Riviera Maya pools and in, in uh, restaurants, not even knowing we were in the Riviera Maya side instead of uh, instead of the uh, Yucatan Beach side. So concierge, oh, they're not here either. Talk to the other guys. Okay, well, 
this is the that's the line to do any changes that you might need to do and that's gonna take a while yesterday there was like two people ahead of me it took 15 minutes this is gonna be a solid hour I better jump in the right side of the line here well okay that line is gonna be like a solid hour wait for the reservation changes so it's right next to the El Abuelo little bar here might as well grab a drink and go back to the Yucatan side and wait for those guys to come back from lunch because that's going to be quicker than waiting for the hour at least line here so you know early bird gets the worm and I'm doing this at noon so um, anyhow here's the uh, here's the Abuelo bar and uh, hey senor woo, woo, woo. good people good people So, back to the Yucatan, um, got a margarita anyhow. Um, for me, maybe you'll be a little more organized than moi, but there's been a lot of, uh, yeah, like I said, a lot of walking back and forth. But hey, you got a uh, margarita to boot, so whatever. Basically, bottom line is, you got anything any changes to do do them right when you get here in the morning oh and here's the biggest tip I could offer you probably staying here is make your dinner reservations at the uh, a la carte restaurants right when you get here all at once don't make the mistake I did which was not doing that and thinking you had to book them every day and then getting to the office late morning or something after breakfast and then making a dinner reservation daily and wasting time and uh and i met this dude here kevin and he was like dude what are you doing he was like you just do it all at once the first day and he, he had it all dialed in and because they fill up quick like you won't get time as you want and you might not even get a reservation so do dinner reservations right when you walk up these stairs do not go anywhere before you make your dinner reservations. That will help you, your family, loved ones, friends, even enemies. Just do it. Okay. All right. Here's my plan. My plan is I will not go anywhere. I will stay right here. I thought, okay, I'll go walk around and do something. but. I want to get back to this side of concierge and have a, another big line so looks like I am first in line here probably best to wait 15 minutes then duke out that 20 person line on the other side so stay right here chill out take a seat go nowhere I am first in line I am first in line yeah 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 if they come back How's it going? Just giving you an update here. The 15 minutes is, well I've been here I guess a solid 30 minutes and just heard the guy tell somebody else it's the 15 minute side means 10 more minutes from now. That would be 40 minutes from when I got here. So don't really uh, look at the 15 minute part of the 15 minute sign. Um, so yeah, you, you got to do everything when you get here and be organized and sit down, do it all at once, get your van transportation, make sure your van is picking you up when you need to go back, make sure your dinners are all reserved the day you get here. Um, what else is on my list? You know, just, uh, I mean, those are the biggies, so just do it all right when you get here. And, oh, the, the COVID test for, I'm from Massachusetts, so um, that is in the USA, and you do have to do, a, have a negative COVID test results before entering back in the States, and, um, 
And here you do the, the uh, you just scan some QR code and do uh, register online for the COVID test. I was able to do that yesterday for myself, but not for my wife. And that's what I have to talk to them about. The uh, the head rente manager guy did tell me we could still get our people done, but it's it just sucks a lot of time out of your vacay. You know what I mean? So get it, get all your ducks in line. Otherwise, you're gonna be looking like me, watching your margarita slowly melt, and not being able to go up and get another one because then you lose your place in line. Um, it's what it is, man. It's what it is, brother. And yes, yeah, so this is the uh, sports bar of the California Ten Beach. Kick ass. Awesome place. Good people. We came here last night for some pool and ping pong. Really cool. Gets crowded later, but this is the uh, end of our trip here and after hours at reception figuring out taxis and everything. Gonna have a beer and then go fly the drone around a little bit and show you guys some more cool drone stuff over the Yucatan, Catalonia. So, uh, yeah. And this is just an epic view over the Catalonia Riviera Maya side, the boardwalk you can see uh, in front to the right lower. Right. And uh, just just gorgeous. So, I mean, you know, there may be seaweed in there. There's always going to be. But, you know, get get the hell around it and fucking have an awesome time. Woo. Shit. Yeah. This gated area is the kids pool. Got a little gates over it for safety. And I'm going to grab a drink right here before heading back and then we um, I think I might walk to the marina down the road check it out I think I saw some dolphins there with my drone I wasn't sure if it was the dolphin research center or the uh, or the marina no I'm, I'm, I'm bouncing here I'm bouncing over somewhere else the next bar okay so this right over here it's called the snack bar and uh in the evening, I don't know what days they do it. They have, it's the, uh, not the churrascaria, like they, at the steakhouse. So they do the steak, we had the, we had the, um, we ate here last night and um, food was awesome. Uh, probably the best for, you know, for meats, it was the best. This is closed, this is the juice bar. But, here's your menu. Good stuff, good stuff. All kinds of stuff. Check it out, whatever, later. Um, it's just all fresh, amazing fruits and stuff. So, very good. And, yeah. And then, the, the main the main area where, where you're going to be eating here, probably. Um, although, the Yucatan side has food, too. This is, like, the, the biggest dining hall here is called... What's it called? It's called. It's called this. It's called La Prisa, you stupid it's turkey. Uh, it's this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that's really informative. All right. So we spent a lot of our time right around here. Actually, mostly down by that Laguna Bar Shack, which we like. I like. Everybody likes. And then this is the. Um, is this the privilege? I don't think. Well, I mean, between like privilege and whatever, man, it's it's like first come first serve. You just you just gotta grab your towel early and, and block your chair, which I totally understand. But it's also kind of lame because so many people get here so early, they grab their towels, throw it on the chairs, and then you don't see them again till like the afternoon, and they take the chairs. And I mean, hey, first come, first serve, but it's kind of lame because then nobody else could like sit there, chill for even a second, so. Right here we are. Yeah, 
This is the Yucatan side of the beach area, which I, we've never actually, like, this is our hotel resort side, and we, we've never really chilled here because, well, well, I guess one thing would be this. It's, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of seaweed. Uh, I don't know if this is the same as sargasm. I think sargasm is more of a, uh, not a seaweed, but a bacteria. I'm not sure. But there's a lot of, uh, you know, seaweed. And it's, let me see. You can see, it's a bit rocky. I mean, it's not a bit rocky, it's rocky. Not Rocky Balboa, I'm just talking about Rocky. So, I mean, okay, hence why we go to the Laguna side. And you know, now we're gonna check out. I'm gonna cut through this, uh, sorry. Cut, stopped halfway through the checkout part. I'm gonna cut through this volleyball court and uh, see what's going on over here. Both. Both pool areas are like totally lively, totally awesome. This Yucatan side has that, that, that's the place where they got the crepes, the creperia, and they got the hot dog dude. And the hot dogs are really good. It's not like a, uh, you know, crappy hot dog. They're actually like nice mixed, I assume it's like chicken, pork, and beef, or I have no idea. Actually, the color looks more like pork, but they're really good. They're really good. And so, yeah, yeah, there's the creperia. And back to where we started, doing it all again. Doing it again, doing it again, and now we're back to the tequila bar. That is kind of, well, where I started. Oh, gracias. Extra tequila. Okay, thank you. Okay, bash, bashacate is como, que haces? Bashacate. Oh, que necesita? Que necesita. Bashacate in Maya. Que necesitas? What do you need? What do you need? Bashka walik is like, que onda, right? Que, que pasa? Bashka walik in Maya, que pasa? Bella, not. <laughs> you don't want to say that. <laughs> Overlooking the uh, hot dog stand, and the other side of the pool is the creperia. That was the garden room, cheapest one. Awesome. Well, we did have to change it, change rooms when we first got here due to not awesomeness. But they they definitely went out of their way and hooked us up to make it awesome. So everything was good in the end. Let's go see what this little monkey monkey nugget is doing. Hey you little agouti. Hey you little agouti. Where are you going with that coconut? Where are you going with that coconut? Come on. It's my coconut. Stole my coconut. I was planning on making a nice uh, cereal bowl out of that. Gosh darn it. Yes, people. Oh, it's our last day here today. So I'm sad. If you see tears in my eyes, there might be some, but it's also because I just ate these delicious uh, tacos at the snack bar restaurant here. Pork tacos with uh, pineapple and all kinds of goods, you know, cilantro, jalapenos, and uh, okay, so, so my eyes are watery for two reasons. Leaving and the tacos. Let's go once again. Okay, see how beautiful this place is. That is the... Creperia. Definitely, crepes are, are really good. Ham and cheese is the only one I tried, but it was tasty. And, oh, I only have one hour here last hour but 
we'll definitely be back. That's for darn sure. And this bar here, I have never, um, I've not drank at that bar because I'm always going to the left. Just gravity pulls me over to the Riviera Maya side. I'd say I didn't check the weather for um, today, but it feels about 87 degrees, maybe approaching 90. All right, now I will launch that drone and get some cool stuff for you guys. But you get the layout here. And over here is the other pool bar. The Riviera Maya. Catalonia side. And upstairs to the left, kind of straight ahead to 11 o'clock here. That's where all most of the restaurants are. All right, enough chit chatting. Time to launch that drone and uh, grab one last cocktail on some pounds. One more Margie. One more Margarita. Oh. And the pool, which I call, thanks, man. The uh, Laguna pool. That's what I call it because it's by the Laguna. Grab one last drink. And then find my company. This is a good place to look for people, actually, because you got to get a for me so good view. See what's going on. Oh, I think they're over here. The towel station. Okay, right here. Give me your card that you'll get from reception for your towels. They give you a towel. Give the towel back, get your card back. All right, there is the beach shop. El Mercado. Good stuff there. Um, wasn't my favorite, but it was good. Cuidado. Hola. And that's it. That's it for me. Like, me and Rosie, our vacation's over. We're running back. We're gonna be late for our late checkout. Bye bye, tequila bar. We will miss you, tequila bar, that's for sure. So, what can I say? Last words, <clears throat> end of a trip here. The Catalonia Yucatan versus the Riviera Maya River My one. <laughs> Last words, how to sum it up. Um, it's the same, it's the same. It's just like one big hotel. I mean, that's the bottom line is it's the same thing pretty much. I mean. Yeah, 
they're the same, just two big, the thing about it is like two big hotels next to each other, because that's what it is. Share the restaurants, share the pools, share the bars. It's just, uh, I mean, you know, they could just call it, there's my room, they could just call it whatever. Mix the works together, the Yucatan Riviera, Maya Beach, Catalonia, because it's, it's the, you're here, man. Like, don't think you're gonna go to one, and then the next one, like, oh my God, honey, what should we do? Which one? Like, I haven't seen the rooms at the Riviera, Maya, Catalonia. I imagine they're pretty similar. Photos sure look the same. So in the end, it's the same place, dudes. It's the same thing. So, yeah. And here is the store of the Yucatan Beach place. Give you a little example of uh, what you'd find at whatever Rite Aid or Walgreens or Walmart for probably 10, 9, 10, 11 bucks. These are 23. So, let me see, pick another random one. Tropicana, Tropic Hawaiian Island Sport, 50 UV, 23. So those are definitely um, items to, what about sunglasses? Yo, you forgot your sunglasses, dude? Okay, you want sunglasses here at the store? $33.21 for the no name. What brand is this? Resort eyewear. Okay, something that looks like Ray-Bans. Yo dude, you forgot your Ray-Bans. You want some here at the store? 33. So definitely don't forget your uh, sunscreen, glasses, cigarettes. Quanto cuesta un carton de Marlboro? Ocho dólares. Ocho dólares? Ah, es más, más barato que los Estados Unidos. Este, más caro? Este más barato. Uh -huh. All right, yo, yo. So, gracias. So, oh, wait, I didn't show the rest of the store, but here it is, kind of stuff, kids, toys, floats, whatever. So, suntan lotion is expensive, but cigarettes are cheap. Okay, restaurant picks. This is snack bar pork pineapple tacos. Awesome. The steakhouse restaurant, that was a uh, like a churrasco cut. I'm not sure what kind of cut this was. The next one coming up is the filet I got right here. That was wicked tender, tasty, so good. And the um, this was beloved. That was a, a ribeye steak. And this is beloved, a New York strip steak. Fries, very good too. Salmon basket with fries, beloved. Uh, beloved taco appetizer, wicked tasty. And these little fried donuts, a beloved for dessert. And then the creme brulee, got mezcal to dip your biscotti in. Nice. And this was some type of the frittata thing. Uh, was awesome. It was amazing. I guess that's a tiramisu with a maracuya sauce. Very nice. And back to my uh, tacos at the snack bar. Oh, yeah. So good. Okay, so if you want to talk about this brown macro algae called sargasm, you know, it's uh, pretty much, I think, from South America. Uh, it looks like the origin might have been from rivers around Brazil um, initially, and then it started just migrating through the pods that float in the ocean, and now it's, you know, taking over. And it's, uh, you know, due to nutrient-rich um, fertilizers, so let's see here. What's that? Golf course, fertilizer, runoff, farm, runoff, industrial, chemical, whatever. I mean, it's just, it, it uh, thrives on phosphorus and nitrogen. And, and this is the result. Unfortunately, it's not getting better. It will only get worse. Um, so, but that's the rea the reality of what, what sargasm is. And so, you know, like here you could find, we always um, congregated over at the Laguna area because the backside did not have that sargasm stuff. 
And, you know, it's it, now it's spring. By the time you see this, it's, uh, I made this vid in uh, the very end of March 2022. Maybe you'll see it early April and uh, I think April and May down in the Caribbean, Revere Maya. Sargasm, it will be worse. And that's, um, but the, the beach cleanup crew, they really clean it up as much as they can, uh, as fast as they can. So, you know, there's still so many amazing uh, waters that, you know, it, it did not ruin our trip. It just made it interesting. Now, if you have kids that like mini golf, don't miss this one. This is the rooftop mini golf course here. What's up, dudes? What's up? Got a shout out from those dudes. And they were having a good time. So uh, we didn't do it, but um, it looks awesome. Who doesn't like mini golf on a rooftop? And another aerial view of the Catalonia Yucatan side. To the right, that is the Creperia. To the left, the pool bar. Right in the middle, pool volleyball. And on the beach of the Yucatan, they also have a very nice volleyball court. All right, court. people, I am just prepping you a little bit more on what to expect when you're thinking about the beaches, the beachfront here, okay? And what you see right here is what you get. This is the Riviera Maya side uh, where you've seen before where I've been snorkeling over here, nice snorkeling area. Again, there's that, that Laguna Tiki bar. And so, you know... Um, it's not just a long, you know, half mile stretch uh, of powdery beachfront in front of you. It's, it's a, it's a, there's a rocky zone here. There's little inlets. There's this, you know, Laguna area. So, I mean, it's awesome. It's awesome. It's, it's but don't expect just a, you know, miles of, of powdery white sand beach in front of you. It's different, but so I'm just, I want you to be prepared, but it is awesome. Oh yes, once again, another shot of coming in over the top terraced restaurants here we have. That's the, uh, that's the burger, the burger bar on the right. I never, we never did that. We never had time. Um, and whatever, um, I think that was Toscana right below. And then there's the Beloved again. And then the, uh, if you go walk up here and there's this uh, walkway, little balcony, around this beloved restaurant with the glass windows and great for uh, having a killer view of what's going on. Although it's hard to stick a camera uh, through that glass because like the space is really narrow. So it's hard actually to get a photo because they have the protective glass, which keeps you from falling out and breaking your head. So it's kind of worth it, but it's tricky to get a photo. Um, But the drone got some good... Uh, Good video photos. And uh, yeah, there it is. You know, that is the Yucatan Beach, people. I'm talking right there. Yuki, Yucatan Beach.